2020 will go down as a year of accomplishment and adventure in the Coleman family. Ty captured another leading role in The Little Mermaid. I finished all of my merit badges and was thrilled to spend a week at scout camp, being just a couple steps shy of working on my Eagle Scout award. We welcomed the family of our French Lindsay student, Stéphane Doss, from both the Ivory Coast and France to campus to attend a huge graduation ceremony at Lindsay Wilson. Ty wowed his dojo by becoming the youngest student to acquire a black belt. Finally, we capped off this year of adventure with our planned trip to Hawaii, enjoying all that the islands had to offer. Ty finally got to visit Pearl Harbor after several years of study. He has become quite the expert. Dad took up cliff diving during the trip. Mom got to study another volcano. And Ty and I finally got to swim with sea turtles. Scratch that. None of these things happened in 2020. Although all these events were on our agenda, 2020 took quite a different direction in March for the Coleman's and for the world. Instead of the glitz and excitement we had planned, we quickly adapted to a life of simpler pleasures. But we did not despair. In 2020, life has definitely brought us amazing opportunities to serve, learn, and grow close to each other, to our friends, and to God. Mark managed to help lead the college through an entire semester with in-person classes and social distancing. Phew! The students were really grateful to be back, even in a restricted capacity. And most of the college's international students made it back too. Ty is perfecting his black belt moves with his sensei in one-on-one -on -one lessons and has been able to continue his tumbling. He's taken up drums in addition to piano. Gabe has earned badges in virtual Boy Scout camp, gone backpacking and camping with his dad, explored being a commercial pilot, and served regularly at Joy Ministries. He got an electric guitar for his birthday and immediately began plucking out some eagles in Chuck Berry. We've taken frequent hikes and day trips around the state reaffirming that our state has amazingly beautiful physical features and history. This fall, we bought a sunfish sailboat and started passing along my knowledge of sailing to the boys. We have been really blessed by each interaction with other people, too. Our daily playing with the neighbors next door while in lockdown, a family reunion that we managed to pull off in Indiana between COVID spikes, the chance to see our Classical Conversations homeschooling group on Mondays, and the chance to come back to worship in person with social distancing. Our area has been hard hit by COVID as we have lost personal friends and continue to pray for others still recovering. But the community has risen to the occasion and giving at Joy Ministries is meeting the increased demand for food and assistance. God is good all the time. We are praying to be able to connect with everyone in the near future. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.